Welcome to Techzilla Bytes, feeding your tech hunger fast. I'm Patrick Norton, and the first big news from Macworld 2014 is from Microsoft. Office for iPad went live at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard today, free on the iTunes App Store. It's actually three separate apps, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, which I'm showing you right here, part of Microsoft's plan to bring Office 365 everywhere. Gotta say, they look gorgeous. Microsoft went the extra mile, designed them from the ground up for the iPad. These are not just blow-ups of Microsoft's iPhone apps, and the look and feel is worthy of your retina screen. I mean, as much as you know, a spreadsheet can justify the resolution. Office 365 means simultaneous editing and a tracking of changes. OneDrive is going to automatically sync across all your devices. You can share and work on apps with others. Not exactly. The free download lets you view Word docs, Excel spreadsheets, and PowerPoint presentations. If you actually want to create or edit docs, you need an Office 365 subscription. And it's actually, well, not a bad deal. Office 365 Home Premium Edition, $99.99 per year, auto renewable, lets you install on to five PCs or Macs. Works out to like $8.33 a month. You can go straight with a $9.99 monthly plan. Office 365 Personal, supposed to come out later this year, promises to drop that to seven bucks a month. Seriously, this is a natural for home premium subscribers. The mobile installs don't count against the five PC and Mac installs you get for your hundred bucks a year. That said, it kind of sounds expensive. I mean, with our sponsor, audiblepodcast.com slash techzilla, I can download fresh spoken word entertainment each and every month for not much more than that. And hey, Google, Apple, delivering their mobile office tools for free right now. Platforms, well, they're kind of the future. Is Microsoft coming too late to the mobile party? We're going to find out because Microsoft definitely cares a lot more about small business and enterprise users than Apple does. A big part of today's demo was showing off mobile device management using Azure Active Directory. Add an application for my organization to use with a click. That's really cool. It gives a single place to manage applications, employee access, and employee access to info. That was part of Microsoft's discussion on the Enterprise Mobility Suite. Microsoft wants to manage how IT lets you bring your own devices to the organization but still protect the company's data. This was newly minted Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella's first big product launch, and it was definitely channeling Steve Jobs, not Steve Ballmer. Except a Steve Jobs that wants to be on every platform everywhere. Lines like Office 365 everywhere, a cloud for everyone on every device, across all phones, tablets, and PCs, these were liberally sprinkled throughout this presentation. Office for Android, Office for Chrome OS sound like they're coming, and when they do, we're going to review them on Techzilla Bytes. You can find more Techzilla Bytes on YouTube.com slash Techzilla, or hey, go to Techzilla Techzilla.com. As always, post down below if you got something to say in the comments, and we'd love to hear from you at Techzilla or Techzilla at revision3.com. I'm Patrick Norton. We got more stuff to review.